Trail and Summit. This is uh, Jake Horsley out of Bandit, Oregon, and uh, I guess we're we're gonna show you my van. So we got a 2016 uh, mid roof, short length, uh, 2000. It's a what is it? It's a 250, um, 2016, yeah. And uh, this is a simple little weekend warrior build out that uh, myself and a buddy did. So um, we're gonna show you. So. Uh, a lot of these are RV components. They're out of California. So like the bags, um, the the open cabinets, there's a dry cabinet um, storage here that we put just like a little little tabletop onto with the um, reserve battery that's underneath the seat. Goes to a 1500 watt inverter. Um, we put in a swivel chair. Um, the, the bench folds down into a bed. And then it also folds up into the wall um, so it can retain its uh, full-size van. Um, pretty easy, just use reflective for the ceiling. Haven't really figured out, you know, when I might finish it. Um, it's just some basic insulation and all of the little nooks and crannies. Uh, use three-quarter inch finished plywood and we routered it, stained it, and then, uh, you know, slapped it on there just for walls. Uh, we went ahead and cut the ceiling for a fan. Um, yeah, so so I just have some hooks in here. Just use like a basic like shoe cover uh, holster thing that uh, put some shoes in. Um, hooks for hanging bags. Uh, got, you know, little things here and there. Um, yeah, it's pretty Pretty basic, but it's sweet. It suits my needs. Taking it all over. Let's see. Uh, when I first got it in 2016, took it down to Anaheim One. Uh, so drove Highway One. Um, did that whole that whole trip, which was pretty crazy. Um, multiple trips to Idaho. I have family that lives in Idaho, so I spent a lot of time down there. I own a house in my hometown, shared Wyoming. So I also have taken it down there. Um, and then a lot of like local trips, you know, between Ashland, um, over Eugene, I have a buddy that lives in Eugene, a lot of buddies that live in Portland. So I spent a lot of time in that, in that zone as well, uh, Hood River, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's run great. I have no, no big complaints. Um, I'm a hat guy, so I always have the hat stash going there and, uh, Went with uh, some camo seat covers, put some BFG tires on it. I kept the standard stock wheels and uh, did a couple sizes upgrade on the tires. So it stands about an inch and a half taller than, than stock. And um, yeah, just uh, I'm up here on the regular just ripping bikes. That's what I mainly bought it for. So cut down on the hotels and, and whatnot and have a... You know, just a basic T2 uh, Thule out back. Have a swing away hitch on it. It's uh, sweet. So power, I have a marine cell uh, boat battery that sits underneath the driver's seat and it goes to the inverter. So that will power uh, laptops, uh, cell phones. Um, I went, I, I haven't done anything to the lighting. So it's just standard lighting right now. Um, I actually, um, put some LED lights under here, which I've taken off uh, right now. I don't have them in there. They're kind of like Velcro on and off. Uh, but if I'm traveling, I'll, I'll throw them on there uh, for like reading at night or whatnot. Um, carpeting. So I went with a standard floor from Ford Transit. So they do a, uh, a pre-cut floor. Um, so I just laid that down there. It does have a little bit of insulation um, within that flooring. It's not huge. And then honestly, like I just went down to like Home Depot and bought a rug and did a little cutout and, uh, just threw it down here. And it seems to, usually there's a dog bed right there. Cause the dog's with me all the time. Um, but, uh, the carpet's cool. Cause like once, you know, after the summer, I'll throw it out and put a new one in. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty standard and nothing, 
nothing crazy fancy. I have some window shade coverings uh, for sleeping. And you know, if I'm in a parking lot and it's super hot out. Um, so this was relatively inexpensive. So like I said, my buddy, he's a Finnish carpenter. Um, so I actually traded him work for, I bought him a rear shock for his bike. And so we just kind of did a trade, but there's probably only, uh, the bed was the biggest expense, uh, from RV components. So that was, you know, it was under a thousand dollars for the bed total for everything was probably three grand right around in there. Um, I didn't put a refrigerator. I just got a Arctic cooler that I'll, um, put everything that I need as far as drinks and food. And then I have the dry cabinet. Um, like I said, I'm, I don't spend like a lot, a lot of time in here. So I didn't plan on living out of it. So I figured, um, it, you know, just keeping it rather simple and not wanting to spend, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's held up great. Um, and no complaints. It's like con it's like once you get a van, you're constantly, uh, it's a constant work in progress, right? Like, so you're always kind of thinking of what you want to do next. Um, so I would, I'm thinking like, I want to raise that dry cabinet. I'm going to want to move this kind of over here, maybe move this, uh, to this side and then, um, put this cabinet where this cabinet sits, um, and just kind of mix it up. So, um, tinted the windows. Um, yeah, not a, not a whole lot, but just enough to stay comfortable with myself and the dog and, and, uh, enjoy the mountain. So, uh, so that's my van and thanks for watching, tuning in, uh, check it on out.